JD and I, were, to, just to catch you up, Chris, we were talking about the Simitones and perhaps, 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 because Doris Day is a guest on the YouTube version of Perhaps, 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 by courtesy of Vivo. She's been sampled and mixed in. Has she? And I think she would reach a much wider audience. I suggested this to HMV. They understood. They have a lot of people interested in Doris Day. So they know that there are people who would buy a, a new version of Perhaps, 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 thinking it was a Doris Day song. And the Simitons could just sort of coast along with it. But the question is whether they would mind. So um, JD's going to track them down. I'm going to track him down. I'll sit on him. He's only, he's only two foot tall. Oh, <laughs> OK. <laughs> he's very easy to track down. So you think you'll get an agreement there? Oh, yes. But I'll get um, anything I want. <laughs> oh, well, that's very good. Well, then the, the other thing is, because I wasn't here last week, I'm not sure what else you've done with the, um, the new access that we have to Princess Hay and the Guildhall, because they seem to be inviting photographs rather than banning photographs. Because we previously tried to explore the city centre and we found the certain parts of it, you can't just pop up video and treat it all as a studio because yeah. um, it's too central to the retail experience and it has to be properly controlled in the way that it's photographed and so forth. But that all seems to have gone away because there's so many people taking photographs on their phones and looking at other stuff on their phones, they just seem to have gone along with it and put up um, a sort of studio background that anybody can use. But I don't know if you spoke about this last week already. No, we didn't. So, JD, you, you actually went round and took a few photographs. Yes, I, I went in there to, to find the Christmas trees. So if you have a time to go and see the Christmas trees, which are all done for charity. And there's right. one which uh, is a place my brother goes to called Cedar. So, uh, and it was the last one. <laughs> I went up and down twice, oh, and I, yes. I missed it. <laughs> yes, but they did. They they have left in in a little alcove, which is rather nice. I thought a throne. I thought we oh. could t we could take uh, Chris round there, and leave him there for the day with his crown on, and be in. He can sign autographs. He could. Yes. So he's famous. Well, yes. Well, he is famous. <laughs> He is famous. So you're, you're saying the cedar, fo um, the cedar Christmas tree yes. is in that alcove? Yes, it's just it's it's um, it's about a second one along from that um, alcove with a nice red chair. All oh, right. Uh, I've got a picture of it because it's there every year, and um, cedar comes in to have a look at that as well as the decorations. So it's a charitable thing, which is fantastic. I think it's great. Yes. Yes, that is that is all that is all good. Mm. So, um, what I, what I thought was we could treat that as a, as a special spot, and try not that not not the not the throne. Well, the throne is a is a is a special spot as well. Um, but I'm not sure what we do with it. It is it's a sort of alcove in the city wall, isn't it? Yes, it's but it's the city wall is they're all in front of the city wall. So that's a very poignant place to put it. Yeah. And, uh, well, uh, this, you can't see a picture on, on, the, uh, <laughs> on the radio, but no, I'll but show, show you. You can describe it, OK? Um, yeah, well, it's, it's, it, it's, in the, it's in the corner. Well, how to describe it? It used to be called Post Office Street, and now it's called Roman Walk. Mm -hmm. So it's at the far end away from, uh, say, Coffee One. Yes, if you think of Coffee One at one end of it, mm. you go, go along that s till you get to the other end. Mm. Well, you could put it on Facebook. I could, could put do. it on Facebook. Yes. Yeah, I could so do. Pe people at home listening could try and find the Wild Show on, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Then they'll see it. Or else send us your photographs. Or send a link to, to different photographs. Um, because I, I think previously we've spoken about that, that sort of crossroads near HMV and... Uh, the Apple store as a sort of tech centre because there's a lot of technology in the HMV shop and the Apple obviously have got a lot of devices 
So I, I think we could regard that as a, a spot for talking about technology, a way to inspire us with what's possible. Um, because we're allowed to photograph it, and then we've just got to work out whether we're allowed to photograph it in the new year when there's not a Christmas decoration there. I don't, I don't see why not. Match oh, your photo. Chris is, Chris is, we're, we're, we're off back to pauses now, ladies and gentlemen, because um, <laughs> the, no, the, pre the presenter and the producer... Are, I, I'm not saying anything. ...are, are <laughs> handing each other phones and photographs. Yes. Which, which uh, will work on radio once... I'm, the audience I'm is, doing work. I'm, put, I'm putting the photograph up Oh, right. You. Now, Chris has handed me the photograph. Oh, <laughs> All right. Is this the ataxia one? Yeah. Yeah, so I've now got a photograph of the ataxia Christmas tree. At night, all lit up. Yeah. Well, I think that should be on Facebook as well. Okay. Somehow. It probably we'll put, is. We'll put all those all those links up, links up again later. Yeah. So um, we'll probably talk about this a bit more at bet. How Apple is an inspiration, but in the meantime, that'll be in January. Uh, in the meantime, we'll just regard that crossroads as an inspiration, and. We'll fill in the details later. <laughs>